Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and let's pick up where we left off in Demon Souls. So, hope you guys are really ready at this point to head up a new area, one that we have not visited yet. The Tower of Latria. So, before we head in there, I'm going to go over my gear, what I've got on me as we speak now. So, here you go, you can see it. I like to carry 150 normal arrows and 100 light arrows because light arrows do travel faster. And I was asked if, from a few of you, here's my soul level. I just showed you there where my statistics were. So, here's all the gear I'm going to carry. I might as well go over that, huh? All the stuff. So, there you go. And uh, the only real important spell we're going to need is flame toss. Uh, you might want to bring heal with you, could be a good idea. Uh, evacuate wouldn't hurt either. And Soul Arrow could be useful too, but the most important thing that we need is a uh, Flame Toss. And go ahead and use your Crescent Falchion. Like again, I'm just kind of going over my equipment where I've uh, leveled it up to. You have, uh, I showed you guys all the areas, that all, all the materials and all that that we have access to at this point. So you should be capable of leveling your character to the same. So here we go. We're going to go to 3-1, the Tower of Latria. So this is basically a prison. And... There are guards and there are prisoners. The guards are extremely dangerous with their magical powers. They're these squid-headed looking uh, guys named Mind Flayers. I believe they're called Mind Flayers. And they are maybe the most annoying enemy, I think, in this fucking game. They will kill you quick. Uh, they have the spell they'll hit you with. It'll stun you. And they'll run up and basically eat your face. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So what we're going to try to do is take them on one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one encounters using Flame Toss. You should be capable of hitting them. Uh, you should be strong enough, I should say, of hitting two flame tosses. Tops should kill them. Maybe three. If you haven't leveled up your magic and you leveled your character up properly, uh, it could take a couple more than that. But right here, I'm just trying to get him right where I want him. And all right, here we go. That's, this is where I want to attack him at. So this is the mind flare. And again, this is going to look easy just because I got the jump on him and I got him exactly where I want him. Doing two flame tosses. Those things really will. They'll hit you with this magic spell and they run up and basically eat your face off. So <laughs> it's kind of a cool animation. And if it does end up occurring on this, well, I'll, as I'm in here, you guys can see it. Otherwise, I'm not going to let them do it just for the sake of showing it because I don't want to die. I think it might even fucking kill me. I don't remember. But I just know it's dangerous. I don't want to get hit by it. So, And for you characters that didn't use a royal, here, there you go. There's your catalyst. So you will now be able to use magic as well. So, like I said, if you guys didn't pick a royal to start the game and you're looking for a catalyst so you can cast magic, there's one for you. And if you notice how I slashed that guy through the gate, I prefer to do that. So, if you'd like to do the same thing and make yourself an easier battle, I mean, look at this. You can just slash them through the gate so they can't hit you. And that's my cell phone beeping. I'm getting text message probably from the wife. So don't worry about that noise in the background. And, uh... Got some royal lotuses. I'm just kind of going through, opening up these cages, and collecting some items. So, well, we're looking for a key so we can open up that gate. Pretty much right where the fog gate was, where we entered. And that right there will show you what floor you're on in case you ever do get lost or curious or confused about where you're at. All you gotta do is look at those uh, those stamps on the sides of the wall. So This is kind of nice, though, this first area here, since we don't really have to do this again. So we might as well explore it now. Uh, we're not going to have to deal with any of these enemies, any of these rooms. But be wary that every gate you open up or every cage you open up, you know, every door for s the cell you open up, all those inmates will be out when you uh, head back to the Nexus and come back in here. So just to be wary of that. They will not all be locked up. They will all be out. So just kind of going around here checking for weapons, seeing what we got. All right, there's some more items over here. And let's pick those up before we have to do with another Mind Flare. Oh, there's plenty of them we're going to have to deal with around here, and they're not that much fun. So I think there's going to be two more in the next area we're going to have to deal with. And I'll show you how you can take out some of them that are down below, too. So you'll see what I mean by down below. There are levels to this prison. We're right now on the third floor, so. Are you guys serious? Jeez. Not going to stand a chance against me. Were they waiting to jump maybe uh the mind flare or the guard I should say. Probably wasn't a good idea. So 
Uh, they, too bad they ran into me. I don't, I, he probably would have made quick quick work of them too. And I'm I'm trying to remember to myself if those prisoners will actually attack the guards or if they all just attacked me. So I see him coming. Get back here. Got him right where I want him. Flame toss. Hit him again. Bam. All right. So as you can see, flame toss does pretty significant damage to those guys. So I see another one over there on the same level as me. So we're gonna have to deal with that one. There's also some down below. If you can see on the next level down on the second floor, if you stand here where I'm at. You can use your bow. What the? Get the fuck out of here! Damn, dude, that was. I didn't. <laughs> forgot about that guy being there. I guess as you can see. Yeah, you really can though. If you stand here and fire at him with your bow, I think it may only take four or five arrows to kill one of them. So, I'm not gonna do it right this minute because it's not necessary for this particular section. But be weary of that. Uh, I'll probably kill them when I go down there, just so I can show you guys how I would do it without using a bow. But if you would like to kill them. Cheese in him with the bow, be my guest. So here we go. Got him in the position I want him now. A couple flame tosses. Bam. Alright. That was about as easy as it can get, possibly, to take out those pain in the ass enemies. I'm telling you, I really hope there isn't a situation where I get hit with their spell. So you always want to try to get the jump on those fuckers every chance you get, because they are not fun to deal with. So what else we got here? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I go through the whole area, don't get hit by the mind flares, and these two little douches hit me, huh? I might as well use heal. One, I got regenerating magic. It was full. It'll come back by the time I have to do with anything else anyway. So, here we go. Just keeping flame toss out just as a precaution. Opening all... Oh, there's an item in here. So, yeah, I'm just kind of going through open cells. And again, I will repeat, if you do leave to the Nexus and come back in here and explore this area, there's not really any reason to ever come in here anyway after this. So, we're just collecting items. But if you do, all those gates will be open, like I said. And those prisoners could be loose wandering around. So be weary of that. So we have the prisoners and the mind flares to deal with instead of just the mind flares when we first come into the area. Slashing this shit, making sure there's no items around here. I don't think there's anything I've missed. Maybe in here, though. Okay, here we go. There's a couple more guys. Take them down. What's in here? No, nothing. Ah, uh, well. It is what it is, huh? Is there anything in here? There we go. There's an item there. Just take this dude out real quick, grab that. <sighs> Something I already had anyway. Whatever. Just dump all this shit off at Stockpile of Thomas. Too bad you can't sell stuff. I can't even remember. I don't even think you can sell anything in this damn game. I think you're just stuck with junk. You just give it to Stockpile of Thomas. And I guess if you have double of an item, though, you wouldn't have to spend souls to repair it. You could just grab the other version and take that in with you if it's fully repaired. But anyway. All right, now that we've done that. I, well, wait. I think there's a couple more cells over here we need to explore. And, uh, yeah, there's something in here, too. So, all right. What we're really actually trying to do is make our way back to the uh, the Archstone. Because that's where the next fog gate is. And we already grabbed that key. That was that key we grabbed right after killing that third Mind Flayer. So, if you see why I'm walking slowly, too, it's because I'm being cautious. There are certain areas of this stage where there will be a hole in the ground. And it, you won't, if, you're, if you're just kind of running through blindly, you could fall right down. So... I'm just trying to be careful. There we go. I think I've pretty much done everything there is to do here. So, now, instead of making, making this like a 20-minute long video, this is going to be a pretty good spot for me to uh, stop. And we will pick it up right at this fog gate. So, again, if you want to go back to the Archstone, it's right over here. So, wait, I don't think it's right in here. Oh, no, just... <laughs> it's in one of these cells right here. If you want to go back to the Archstone, because... Uh, once you come out of it, I think it's right in there. It's one of these doorways here. But if you open it up, here we go. Open up, come out of the archstone, turn make you right. You'll be right here. You can open that gate up. And you won't have to do with any any of those enemies we just did. And we'll be right here at the uh, fall gate. So I will pick up the next video right here. Peace out from your good old buddy, KB Giants fan.